Uh, thank you for joining us this evening, and this is uh, part uh, three of our teaching that we're doing on the importance of the name of Yahuwah. And uh, I'm going to read tonight uh, from Psalm 91, and uh, I'm just going to bring out some verses here that would apply to the subject that we're teaching on, why it's important to know the name of Yahuwah. And uh, reading from in verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of, now your English translation will say the Lord, but we know that the word Yahuwah should be there. And it says, I will say of Yahuwah, he is my refuge, my fortress, my, and then your English translation would say God, but it would say Aluahim or Alahim, in him will I trust. In other words, that word means mighty one, my mighty one in whom I trust. Yahuwah is my mighty one, and him do I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler, and I shall not be afraid by the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall, shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Now all these things that is being said here, this is because of Yahuwah, because he is my mighty one, because he is the one I trust. I'm going to skip on down to verse uh, 10 here, and it says, There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. You know, there's a promise right here that you could hold on to. You, you can declare that no evil will befall me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. This is a promise to those that know Yahuwah. We're going to find this out as we keep reading here. This is not just put in here to hold the pages up. This is an actual promise to those that know Yahuwah and that know his name and put their trust in him. Because I have made Yahuwah my refuge, the Most High, my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his messengers charge over me to keep me or to protect me in all my ways. There's a promise right there for your divine protection. As you, if you'll declare that, if you put faith in that and trust the word of Yahuwah to be part of your life, Yahuwah watches over his word to perform it. And then it says down in verse 14, now this, it changes to where Yahuwah does the speaking here. And it says, because he has set his love, his love upon me, this is Yahuwah talking, because you and I have set our love upon him, therefore will he deliver us or save us. See, because, you put, because you've uh, you set your love, your affection, your, your, your heart upon him, he says, because you've done that, he would deliver us and save us. He says, I will set him on high because he has known my name. Do you know his name? It's not God, it's not Jesus, it's not uh, Jehovah, it's not Yahweh, it's not Yehovah or, or Yahuwah. It's Yahuwah is his name. And that's the name, if you know his name and you, you have set your affection upon him, you set your love upon him, and you've called upon him, you've called upon that name for salvation. He said he would deliver us. He would set us on high. When he says he would set us on high, he's talking about a place of refuge, a place of protection, a place where the enemy can't get to us, that he would put us in that area of protection, a hedge around us. Now this doesn't work just because it's in here. This is a promise that you and I have to embrace we, the, all the promises of Yahuwah are yes and amen, but they're applicable only by faith. Faith is what causes these promises to be enacted in our lives. You know, the scripture has declared, uh, you know, that, that all I had to do was to call upon the name of Yahuwah and, and I would be saved or I would be delivered. Well, that was, in, that was applicable in my life up until I was 24 years old and uh, but I didn't make the decision or believe that or act upon that until that time in my life. 
Now I could have been, I could have received the results of that much sooner, but what was the problem? The promise, promises were already here. It's just that I never had by faith took the word of Yahuwah, acknowledged it with my mouth, and declared it to be so in my life. And when we do that, we, we, we when we sincerely by faith do that, then the promises uh, of Yahuwah become applicable in our lives. See, the, the scripture says, without faith, it's impossible to please Yahuwah. We have to trust his, what he says in his word. We have to believe what he says in his word and then embrace that as being the truth that I believe this word of Yahuwah more than I believe my circumstances, no more than I believe what everyone is telling me. I trust in what Yahuwah has told me. He has told me in his word that he would deliver me. He has told me in his word that he would set me on high. He has told me in his word that there shall no plague come near my dwelling. So I enforce that in my life by acknowledging that as the truth. And I see by you doing, you and I doing that, we're, we're giving no place to the enemy. The scripture declares resist the devil and he will flee from you. How do you resist him? By you acknowledging the truth of the, the word of Yahuwah and that's enforcing that and that's putting him uh, where he can't devour us. That's putting him, uh, that's the resisting the scripture is talking about. See this is one of the important things of knowing about the name of Yahuwah that there's certain promises in his word for those that know his name and that will declare his name and that the blessings are attached to his name because by, by his name we are married to him. As I mentioned before, when a man marries a woman, he, she takes on his name and she takes on everything that belongs to that man, they become one and all, the, all that he has belongs to her and all that she has belongs to him. And it's the same way. We are married to our Father Yahuwah and everything that he has belongs to us and everything that we have belongs to him. So with that said, can you see how awesome that is to know who we belong to, the family name that, that's ours, and then we can acclaim the, the promises that are attached to his name as being ours and uh, receive the benefits of that. Well, I hope this has blessed you. Let me know. Share with me that you uh, how the teaching is helping you. Uh, please share it with other friends and um, so they may also understand the importance of the name of Yahuwah. And um, I appreciate all your support and look forward to our next session together. So you have a good evening and shalom for tonight. <clears throat>